Have you ever encountered a RSA encrypted key and you wanted to crack it, but you didn't know how? Well, today is your lucky day because this is what we are going to tackle exactly. Let's get started. Welcome to this final episode of the 64 base CTF challenge. We've come a long way and we are about to get root using what seems to be a private key that is encrypted with a passphrase. If you want to learn more about the techniques we've used to reach that point, make sure to watch the other episodes. The links are in the description box. They are going to be available by the end of the week. So we need to find a way to brute force that because um, the hint in flag five said use the force. Let's see how we can do that. RSA brute force key or passphrase. Maybe we can add John or Hashcat. Yeah, it could be better to just uh, use Hashcat way quicker than John. Um, the, the protocol or the algorithm used for encryption in our case was AES128. So that what we have in the file RSA, AES, CBC. Uh, but I guess that the approach could be the same. We just need to tweak some commands. So I'm trying to figure out how to do blah, blah, blah. Now I'm trying to feed the whole key to Hashcat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we need to convert it to a hash first. Decrypt is something completely different. RSA is not supported. Oh, it's not supported. Okay. Um, let's uh, choose another resource, maybe also open this. So there is a answer here saying use GPG to John to convert your RSA key to a GTR understandable format. Use John incremental file to start GTR reinforcing. Mm -hmm. and then start script on Linux. Ah, it's way complicated, I guess. There's a simpler and more elegant way. First, we generate a private key with a passphrase, okay. Now we can also use the pass out and we get that private key. It resembles to ours. The only difference is the algorithms used for encryption. Yeah, our, our algorithm used actually this right here and uh, try the wrong password. Okay, next we'll try to correct the correct password. And uh, yeah, it's decrypted. There's a, a reference to a Python script keys crack dot pi. We know a dictionary, they've used this dictionary, but uh, where is the Python code? Let's look for that keys crack dot pi. It's mentioned anyway. Oh yeah, here it is, okay. So what it is using here is open SSL RSA in private dot P E M out key pass in. Oh, okay. So it's a dumb loop across or on words in a word list and then just using open SSL to decrypt it. Mm, not the best approach, but you know, we can we can try that, why not? So I'm going to cat my word list that I've been, that I've collected in episode one. I guess it was called words, yep. And then for each one using the xargs uh, command, I'm going to define a placeholder this will represent each element or each uh, key that we want to test. And then we will run this with our key. And the in file would be RSA. And if everything goes well, we should have something in our, in out.key. So let's uh, give it a try. So it's trying to crack the key using the words that we've collected from the website. 
let's see if it works. If it, if it doesn't, then we will add maybe some additional words. So those of you who have maybe used another approach using John the Ripper or Hashcat, comment down below with your approach. I would love to see how you've done that. Now, because uh, we are using uh, xargs, we can also define dash j to increase our jobs. And let's uh, choose 10 jobs in parallel. Uh, I guess it's called capital P. Yep. And this would be way, uh, way quicker. While it's running, I'm going to see if a file called, what was the out file that we wanted to, yep, it's already finished. Let's see if we have a file called out.key. Nope, no such file directory, meaning that the word list didn't work. Um, let's use some words that we found in flag six. Now remember the image, it was called use the force. So I'm going to use uh, those words. Uh, let's call it words two. So let's try use the force. Maybe the force as well, because why not use the force or use the force altogether. Now let's retry, but now with our second word list words two. And let's just uh, get rid of these parallel jobs. Okay, it seems that we have a different message here writing RSA key. And uh, if I ls out.key, we indeed have a file out.key, which is not protected anymore. Perfect. So if I change mod to 400, uh, this uh, out key, and let's try to SSH, this time as root, but using the out.key, we indeed gain access as root on the server with the last flag six. Okay. ID, let's verify. Yes, we are root. Cat, pass WD. I'm not going to cat it here. Uh, so that you guys don't cheat and uh, just copy paste it into the challenge. Uh, but just to verify that we have access to it. Yes, we are root and we have read access to it. Or you know what, I'm going to be gentle and maybe print the first uh, five characters of that file. Okay, this indicates that we indeed have access to that flag. Um, the last flag is this one, so let's play with it. In our shell here, using Python, so from base64, import base64 decode. A, or let's call it subscribe, would contain that string. And then we would base64 decode that subscribe. And let's put it in a value A. Uh, base64 decode. Now A holds a long string. So A dot decode hex odd length. And that's because we have an a return character uh, right here. So I'm just going to take all but the last one. And yes, we can put this in another variable called C, base64 decode that C. And we have a yet another string. Um, let's uh, use dot decode that hex string. And yeah, we have an odd length string. That's because we need to trim out the last element. And we have yet another base64 encoded string. So base64 
decode that entire value and voila we have base64 decode which seems to be a path to a file okay um, let's uh, read some content of that file oh it's base64 encoded yeah that's why we need to print or use base64 decode to decode it well done you did it imperial da -da 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 -da. and we have the generic now you're a jedi i hope you enjoyed this challenge if you learned something new in this series give it a thumbs up comment and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the ring bell to receive the videos once they go live as always stay curious Keep learning and go find some bugs.